One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got twelve things that you're going to need if you've got a 3D printer. Stay tuned for the rest of this video. Hello, welcome inside the Mind of Matt. And you know, this Christmas, it'll be two years ago that I got my first 3D printer, my ANET A8 over here. And since then, I have seven now. And I've put together a list of 12 things that I think that every 3D printer enthusiast should have in their arsenal. So I'm gonna go over these and kind of like from the most important to kind of more of the advanced stuff. Now I want you to know that I'm not trying to sell you anything. I just know that there are going to be some people that are getting some 3D printers up for Christmas and these are the things that I think that are going to come in handy for you when it comes time. So let's take a close look and see what I've got and we'll cover each one of them. Okay we're going to start right over here and I'm going to say that these first two things, actually the first three things that I'm going to say are going to kind of all be like necessary things that you're going to use every time you 3D print. Okay, so let's start out with a pair of tweezers. Now I have a couple of, you know, odds and ends here and it never hurts to have more than one. I'm not going to specifically tell you what kind to get, whether it's bent tip or long tip or, or whatever. Just find some that you like. Once again, I am going to leave links down in the description for some of these things that I have found that would be good representations of what I have. They will be affiliate links that will help the channel. So if you do decide to use them, it's a super appreciated but you don't have to you can go out and find something that works for you on your budget so moving on to the next thing is going to be a print removing tool whether you use what I have found is this this guy right here is, is actually my favorite tool to be honest it's got a, a nice sharp edge it's uh, beveled and it's it's not really sharp so I'm not gonna cut myself or anything like that it's kind of weighted and when I get a print I just kind of wait for it to cool off a little bit and I just give it a little bit of, of a whack in the corner with this thing. If that doesn't work I'll whack it on a couple of different other corners and then if uh, it's still like a big wide piece that it's just really stuck good especially with the stuff that I use uh, I'll get one of the corners up and then I'll get this guy up underneath it and this is just a, a cake decorating tool that I got from the local uh, craft store the third most important thing is going to be a good pair of flush cutters now some of your 3D printers might come with an actual uh, pair like this. Uh, this is my third pair of kit uh, cut cutters and uh, these ones they actually they kind of like pop out and the springy kind of loses it. I, I ended up getting a second pair from the local electronics place and I cut a screw with it and now I have some notches in it. And it doesn't work very good so I went back for another pair so you know just find a good pair of flush cutters that work for you that are comfortable in your hand but you want to make sure that they're sharp and this is gonna be used to cut your filament uh, to remove any parts on the, the 3d printed part that need to come off you know little strings or something like that and just super super necessity to have all right, moving on and talking about the, you know, once you take your print off, you might have some parts to clean it off. Uh, you use the flush cutters. Next is going to be a heat gun. Uh, this, this thing is super, super useful for just removing any strings or if you're going to do any hairy parts, you can actually, you know, use this to, to melt like a hairy lion or something like that 
or you know get heat up a part to kind of mold it into place or anything but you get a, a pretty inexpensive one down at like Home Depot or Ollie's or any place that sells you know tools you're gonna be able to, to get a, an inexpensive heat gun super super useful okay the next section is of tools is gonna kind of be more geared towards uh, when you're gonna do some repairs or if you're gonna do any type of upgrading or anything like that like especially if you have like a an, get an a net like I did you're, you're gonna need some tools to to put it together what I have found is a really good pair of Allen's is super 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 necessity for that uh, most of the kits that you're gonna find are all gonna come with metrics so make sure that whatever you get is metrics these ones are actually left over from my RC car days and that's why I still have them as well as my wrenches which uh, you won't need a whole set I'm definitely gonna say that you're gonna want like a six seven eight nine and a ten millimeter especially when it comes to like removing your nozzle and uh, well removing your nozzle is you're, you're gonna want a wrench so the next item in my list is going to be a adjustable crescent wrench and one of the main uses that I use this in conjunction with my wrench for uh, removing my nozzle is I use this to actually hold my heat block because you're gonna want to remove and change your nozzle with the machine hot so that you're, you're not breaking two metal parts that are kind of fused together with plastic at that point so this is what I use whenever I got a nozzle to change or uh, a heater element or anything like that working with my hot end I always use this to to hold it now you could get something with a, like a rubber or some kind of heat protection because after holding it for a while this does uh, start to you know heat up and, and the handle gets a hot so just a forewarning that you know working on nozzles is kind of uh, one of the more hazardous portion of working on 3d printers and, and owning uh, a 3d printer is it's it's hot so you got to be careful you don't burn yourself uh so the next section of things that are on my list are kind of like consumable um parts of the printer that are going to get worn out burnt up uh break if you move things around or anything I just actually had to order a, a new thermistor for one of my printers because I noticed that my heater wires were sticking below the nozzle and I was printing something and it was bumping it so I went to fix it and I ended up breaking my thermistor and I ended up having to to buy replacements and my printer was down for a while because I had to wait for it so I didn't have one in, in stock as a spare so that's why I'm putting that on the list is going to be spare thermistors uh, this particular one is for an official E3D but this is for most of your other clones and, and stuff this is the style that you're going to get but having a spare thermistor on hand is always going to be very handy next is going to be your heater cartridges i ended up purchasing a pack of 10 when i got my inet two years ago and i have a bunch of 3d printers and as you see that's i've got one two three four five six so i've, I've gone through four heater cartridges in the two year span for whatever reasons next is gonna be actually two kind of items that separately but they kind of go in conjunction with each other but sometimes you might not need one of these uh, so the first is going to be some spare nozzles you're going to want to have some spare nozzles now if you're experimental like i am you might want to get a variety pack like i, I got when i had done the um, bronze filament from virtual foundry i ended up uh, needing a different size nozzle 
than a 0.4 millimeter so I just went with a variety pack depending on the printer that you have is going to determine what kind of nozzle that you get so spare nozzles are definitely going to be a another item that you're going to want to have in stocks because you never know what's going to happen now not all hot ends are an all metal hot end. Some of them actually have the tubing that goes in. So a nozzle is gonna be pretty much the only thing other than some tubing to have in stock, which didn't make my list, but it's kind of what the runner up. But spare throats or heat brakes, whatever you wanna call it. This is an actual E3D uh, one that I have, bought, I think I bought a five pack. Uh, so having those, you know, because they can get clogged or something can, you know, burn up and you might want to replace it. But I will give a little dangerous tip um, that uh, I clean my nozzles and my throats with a blowtorch. So I just, you know, have a pair of needle nose pliers and I just hit it with the torch and all the plastic melts right out and I have a clean nozzle or a clean throat. Just a suggestion, just a tip. If you burn your house down, please don't blame me. Anyways, I'm moving on to one of the next items, which is one of the more advanced items on my list uh, as far as doing any type of repairs. When I did my Mo Mono Price Maker Select virtual yard sale purchase and I did a major upgrade, I did the ramps board and all that. I found that I needed a tool in order to make the connections uh, nice and easy. So this is a DuPont crimp tool as well as a nice uh, kit that's got both the male and female crimps uh, from single all the way up to, I'm, not, I'm oh, that's, that's a 3D printed part. Uh, I'm not sure when it was, you'll see in the kit, but just a versatile kit to have on hand. I've used this so many times. It's actually got some rails as well, but this is, uh, uh, takes a little bit on how to use it, you know, playing with it a little bit. I've used it in a couple of my videos, but if you're going to be doing any type of upgrading or playing around with making your own, like doing a pipe or anything like that, having this tool super handy next is going to be the kind of the last on my list but I, I do have one tool that I'm going to talk about at the end of this but uh, this last one is more if you're getting into any kind of doing any kind of designing of your own uh, and for the real world type of applications like I like to to do uh, you're gonna want a, a ruler and a good caliber now this uh, this one is an Arbor Freight one and it's it's wonky and it doesn't reset and it doesn't zero so it's not the best one uh, a, a good one of these can cost hundreds of dollars but go find yourself one that that works um, good enough for your budget and uh, and make sure that you have one on in your tool belt if you ever decide that you're going to want to do any type of designing or anything. Now the last item that I have on this table which I haven't really got to experiment with but I just want to kind of like throw it out there. Uh, I got this because I, I do have some work to do on one particular uh, project that I've kind of had in the background and not had a chance to really work on but I, I plan on working on it if you guys know what I'm talking about then then yeah anyways uh, I, I'm gonna if you've used one of these uh, and it works good on 3d print or doesn't work uh, leave a comment in the comment section so but I am going to do some experiment and if you'd like to see that experimenting um, also leave a comment in the comment section let me know so there you have it, 12 things that as a 3D printer owner or a future owner that you should have in your arsenal. Uh, it, they're just going to help you out in the long run. It, some of them might be obvious but not talked about and some of them you might just go, aha, uh, I didn't think about that. Anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're subscribed, super appreciate it. If you're not, consider subscribing before you leave. 
and check out all the links that I have down in the description. Some of them are going to be for these, some are going to be for other places where you can save some money on some filament and ways to directly help the channel by either maybe buy me a cup of coffee or even step over on Patreon and maybe drop me a dollar or two. Anyways, thanks again for stopping inside the Mind of Matt. There's going to be more coming soon. My anniversary is very, very close, so expect something special there. Super thanks to all my Patreon supporters and all those that let the ads play, as well as use all my links down in the description. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks for stopping inside the Mind of Matt. Happy printing, and be safe porn.